Welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Renee DeFord. Buckle up, phone down. It's a national campaign to get more and more drivers to do these two simple life-saving things in an effort to curb deadly and serious injury crashes. The concept started in Missouri when an engineer used the phrase. It has spread from there with the Missouri Department of Transportation Director, Patrick McKenna, challenging other states to participate in a national buckle up, phone down day. Ohio joined in on Wednesday. Sadly, our state's seatbelt use rate has hit a nearly 20-year low, with only 80.8% of Ohioans buckling up, according to the Ohio Department of Public Safety. In 2022, there were 527 people in Ohio killed in traffic crashes where a seatbelt was available but not in use. This marked the third consecutive year that Ohio's unbelted fatality rate was above 60%. Now, you've no doubt heard a lot about the phone down portion of this effort in recent months as enforcement of the state's new distracted driving law began. Paying attention behind the wheel is so important to everyone's safety. So remember, buckle up, phones down. Another reason for putting that phone down and paying attention, keeping roadside workers safe. Last Saturday was National Move Over Day, and ODOT took the opportunity to once again remind drivers to move over, slow down, and pay attention. Saturday, October 21st is National Move Over Slow Down Day. Today, ODOT, State Highway Patrol, and AAA were on hand to remind all motorists, no matter what vehicle is on the side of the road with flashing lights, it's always important to move over and slow down. There are many people across the state who consider Ohio's roadways their workplace. These men and women perform a variety of services and duties aimed at one thing, keeping our roadways safe for everyone who travels through Ohio. While performing those duties, many folks have different titles. Trooper, maintenance worker, firefighter, paramedic, tow truck operator. But their most important titles are those that they're called at home. We need your help to ensure that we can also return home to ours. Ohio law requires that every driver move over when approaching a stationary vehicle with flashing or rotating lights parked along the roadside. For the Loop in Cuyahoga County, I'm Brent Kovacs. Thanks, Brent. When it comes to electric vehicles, Ohio continues leading the charge. Ohio is now the first in the nation to break ground on an electric vehicle charging station built as part of the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Program, or NEVI. The station is at the Pilot Travel Center along I-70 at US-42 in Madison County. Once completed, it will be equipped with fast chargers that can provide up to 350 kilowatts when charging a single vehicle. When four vehicles are charging simultaneously, each port gets 175 kilowatts, which can charge an EV up to 80% in 20 to 40 minutes depending on the vehicle's battery. In addition to this first site along I-70, construction is expected to begin soon on more than two dozen fast charging stations funded by NEVI across the state. All chargers installed as part of the first round are anticipated to be operational by the end of 2024. Ohio recently hosted the 2023 Great Lakes St. Lawrence Governors and Premiers Leadership Summit in Cleveland. It brought together leaders from states and Canadian provinces that border the Great Lakes. The summit was led by the Great Lakes Commission, an organization that works across state and even national lines to balance the use, development, and conservation of the Great Lakes. Lake Erie is beautiful, vibrant, and very important to Ohio's economy. When it comes to transportation, Ohio has eight active ports and 65 terminals on the lake. They moved nearly 40 million tons of cargo in 2021, the latest year of data available. That's a lot of cargo for sure. Absolutely. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media and keep sending those great story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.